I really haven't been hiking for too long, but some of my favorite memories involve eating and drinking while out on the trail hiking. Eating pasta in Italy for the first time. Fatty Spanish chorizo cut with a sharp knife for lunch. Fresh coffee prepared for me on top of a snowy mountain in the middle of nowhere. A cold beer in a frosted mug after a 20 mile hike day. White bean soup with a fresh baguette and another beer. <laughs> massive burgers in France, massive burgers in Switzerland, and even bigger burgers in Chile. Like what is going on Chile? Why are they so big? Dalbat power 24 hour. Nothing locks in a good memory like a hot cup of coffee. It helps me to slow down and puts me at peace. The thing about hiking is you can do it a couple different ways. You could very budget oriented, bring your own food, cook everything and save a lot of money. Or what I like to do is just allocate some kind of budget to just buying and drinking whatever I want along the way if it's going to elevate and add to my experience. And one of the best examples of this is the Marty Hamal hike in Nepal. I made sure to bring more than enough cash to buy whatever I wanted on the trip just because that was part of it for me. I wanted to eat Nepalese food prepared in these remote places and to just lighten my pack by not bringing snacks and food on my own. I've also made some mistakes and done some unspeakable horrors. <laughs> On one of my first hikes in Peru and Chokiquita, I had ramen and I added tuna to it, thinking maybe some extra protein or something. It just didn't taste good. <laughs> I bought chocolate that I don't think is supposed to be for eating and it didn't taste good at all. So what are some of my favorites? Uh, right now, Meal To Go is a very dense, uh, easy to eat. You can eat it while hiking. That's what I like about it. Nuts are just the superfood. They're really calorie dense, fatty. Uh, they don't spoil easily. So you can just pack a lot of them and eat them as you're hiking. Once again, peanut butter is really fun and tasty to eat on trail, calorie dense, but can be kind of messy. So you have to have a system for eating it, I guess. Bananas, apples, peppers, oranges are some of my personal favorites. And these are things that you eat once you get on the trail, you try to get rid of them quickly because they are carrying extra water weight. It's probably smarter to pack something like dried fruit because it gives you somewhat of the same nutrients but at way less of the weight and size. So I'll pack dried apricots, mangoes, raisins, dried banana chips, those are all good. Absolutely love the combination of crackers, dried cheese, and sausage. If you have a camping stove and you can boil water, instant ramen, instant potatoes, freeze-dried meals, instant rice, all of these things are pretty good. In the morning, I almost always have some kind of dried oats or oatmeal, and then if I need a splash of taste, I will add some honey. Instant coffee, tea, hot chocolate is usually fun to bring. I love stealing instant coffee and tea from hotel rooms before a hike. And then lastly, it's usually hard to find, but some kind of Mio, like drink, concentrated mix that you just squirt into water to make it into like a flavored drink. Some of them have like a caffeinated uh, addition to it. Today's video is brought to you by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is the best place to get sound effects, music, images, after effects templates, or video footage for your next project. They have a lot of stuff to choose from in the library, over 1 million assets strong, and here are some of my favorites. Man sitting near a tent on a hill, real life Endor, slow motion pot cooking over a campfire. Does anyone know where this is because I want to hike it? Campsite vibes looking over a lake. Whenever you need to fill in some timeline gaps with B-roll or just level up the production value of your next project, there are a bunch of reasons to use Storyblocks and they have your back. The more you use Storyblocks, the more you realize how valuable it is. Storyblocks lets me view, download, and use shots that would be impossible to get myself, like drone shots over Manhattan or Brooklyn. They make it really easy. Check them out on your own, storyblocks.com slash Craig Adams. There's a link in the description. Storyblocks has my back. They're awesome. And you should support them if you want to support me. 
So for an example, this is what I would bring for like a three to four day hike. I would probably need to bring a couple freeze dried meals if it was going to extend past then. We've got some meal to go here, which is a half or a third of all of your daily nutrients in a large granola bar. And these are super easy to just grab out of your pack as you're hiking and eat on the go. And yes, they recommend that you drink water with these because they're pretty dehydrated as is. Dried apricots, nuts, a bunch of oatmeal, three ramens, some dried salami, tea, Twix, babe, because I need a pick me up sometimes. It may not be the healthiest, best thing to eat on trail, but when you're feeling blue, a little like down, you need that morale boost. Twix. <laughs> Bananas, apple, orange. Once again, these are big, have water weight. I'd probably eat these the first day just to cut down some uh, pack weight and size. And then crackers and dried cheese to mix with that salami. This is kind of making me hungry just looking at it. <laughs> I think most hikers eventually learn that after a long day of like 20, 25 miles, you are so hungry that almost anything is appetizing. So if you're looking at a handful of nuts or this oatmeal and it doesn't look as appetizing, it's definitely going to be much easier to eat when you're super tired after a long day. But with that in mind, you still want to have food that you'll want to eat. So you have to balance that with how long things will keep. You don't want your food to spoil after a day on trail. You can buy the wrong cheese and it may be more tasty than a dry cheese, but you don't want it to spoil. I like to put my food in a odor-proof Ziploc bag on the outside of my pack for easy access. And then at night, the odor-proof helps keep it away from critters. You don't want little mouse, mice, mouses. If I buy nuts in the store, it usually comes with a plastic bag, so I'll use that as my garbage bag while on the hike to put anything gross and dirty just into that to keep it from messing up anything else in my pack. My go-to system for water is to have a bottle that I scoop when I pass a stream or a tap, and I will filter that water through a Sawyer filter directly into my mouth as I'm hiking. I just keep that on the, my side so I don't have to take my pack off to take a swig. With a cooking stove, it sterilizes the water when you boil it, so you can just scoop that directly from a stream or whatever. And if I know I'm hitting a section that's going to be a little dry, uh, I will pack an extra liter of water in a bladder in my pack. And one thing that I've realized is that when you're summoning a peak, there's usually little to no water because the streams flow down. So obviously down in the valley is where all the water is. As much as I can, I'm trying to hike while I drink and snack. So once again, water bottle on my side, I've got snacks in the back pouch that I can just reach and grab and not have to stop to take a break to eat or drink. And of course I don't have footage of that because it's kind of hard to eat and film and do all of that at the same time. So most of the shots where you see me drinking and eating are taking a break. <laughs> in the future, I'd like to experiment stoveless cooking uh, could I pack enough calories and food to go on a long hike without boiling water? I'm also curious to know how long I could go with food that I carry before I have to resupply. Like I'm guessing maybe a week at most. I'd like to understand nutrition more. And I'd like to work with companies that are willing to offer food for me to try and review while hiking. And then also engage with y'all to figure out what you guys are eating and what you recommend. So let me know, what are your favorite go-to meals? Uh, what do you think I should try? What am I missing? <laughs> Tell me how I'm wrong. Banish
join on my homepage and pledge their support to help me make videos. Thank you everyone who is helping. It's really appreciated. And uh, I, right now I'm in Alaska shooting my next video. You should see that pretty soon, but hey, thank you. Take care.